<sighs> Guys. Battles. I've fucking run out of film. Come on, dude. Come closer. No. Try to kill me. Well, that sucks. I've lost all my type 14 film. Now I have to go back to type 7. It's just because these guys are jerks. It's not enough. Something in there. I think it's gone now. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. There's a blue thing. Let's go down to where Miku was. Miku went down here. Sealed by a strong power. Oh well. There are stairs there, but there's also a door that I want to go through. Oh, it's sealed by some strong power. Well, I guess it's door time. Um, stair time, I mean. Well, I just realised that like two hours after I said it. Time is it? It's like twenty three minutes past eleven o'clock. There's a small st space at the back of the low bookcase, and I can see a ladder leading up. Maybe if I can move this bookcase, I can get inside. Get moving. Hi. A light shines on the bookcase of water, illuminating red, a red bookshelf. Some sacred objects must be displayed here. Something is written in tiny letters on the shelf. Offer up the time of instruction, written in the ink of the etching of the soul. There is something shiny by the side of the altar. A butterfly key. Yay! We can go to where Mio is. Hey, there's a blue thing over there. Oh, I got film. How do you know there's a projector? You haven't seen the projector yet, have you? Uh oh. Let's run past. Yay, it worked. We're coming to get you, Mio! Don't worry. Screw your sister. It's all about you. Because you're the one that's alive. If Mio dies, I'm going to be pissed. Because Mio's awesome. She's 14. She had to kill her sister because she was a douchebag. You know, if both sisters die after all the work I put into that game, then I'm going to be annoyed. Oh, 
Oh no, wait, the door's over here. I remember. Downstairs. Butterflies. Cool. I remember this place. Pressure. Pressure. Repels back damage. Spirit points needed two. Level damage increases. Use this to repel hostile ghosts. It takes one spirit point. Use the L1 button to operate. You do not have to be in the fatal frame to repel, so you can use it for emergency escape as well. The higher your level, the more damage you inflict on the ghost. Okay. Where is she? Hi. She has a thing. What are you reading? There's a doll there and it's creepy looking. Mio? Yeah, she's wearing a hat. Um, I can hear things. Um, okay. What am I supposed to be looking for? I heard something. It seems to be coming from inside the roof. Inception. A dream? Within a dream? Within a dream? I've had one of those before. Uh, Inception is a bad film though. 
tries to be smart, but it ends up just not making sense within the context of itself. Good morning, good morning. Ray, this is it. Ray, about that photo of the doll on the skewer. I wasn't able to find anything on it. <gasps> this is unacceptable, M Miku. I thought it may be similar to the legends of the straw dolls passed in Tono. Anyway, it has something to do with folklore, so you might find something in one of the used books. Thanks, I'll go take a look. If you need anything else, just let me know. Make me some breakfast, please. I'm very hungry. There are typed and handwritten letters and several books left out on the desk. Okay, I'm supposed to be looking for a book though. In a book, there's a, in the bookcase is a book of cultism that Amakura wrote out in his letter. The camera obscura is a device used to capture the other world made by a cultist, Kahuno Aso. From the late 19th to the early 20th century, he tried to communicate and get proof of this other world. The term occultist refers to people involved in the movement to verify Eastern thought using contemporary Western technology. Kunihiko Aso is a prime example of such an occultist. The camera obscura was one of his qu quintessential experiments. He modified the time, st at the time, the still rare camera by adding a special lens and film. It was supposed to capture unbelievable things, normally invisible to the naked eye, like a so-called different phase interval and spirits and ghosts. They are very rare nowadays, but apparently these cameras are still traded amongst curio dealers. Most of them have been broken, and we've lost the chance to see the other world, as well as the soul's achievements for eternity. You added the camera obscura and real proof of spirit world to your file. After you've exceeded the information, okay, fine. In the bookcase is a book with a projector similar to the one you photographed in the mansion. The device shown here was left by Kunihiko Asal. It used to substantiate the world, the existence of, and communication with the spirit world. Yeah. He was a brilliant scientist and philosopher and appropriate in Western culture in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He combined new technology with his theory on the spirit world to prove its existence. It said that a few of his devices were able to capture unbe an unbelievable existence from the spirit world. What's going on? What's happening? Is my thing okay? Hello? Um, my headphones have screwed up. I can't hear anything. What the hell? Um, is this on the recording? Wait a minute, guys. I need to pause it and check something quick. Okay, so that was weird. I have no idea what the hell happened. Um, but, yeah, hopefully that won't happen again. Anyway. It said that a few of his devices were able to capture an unbelievable existence from the spirit world, but pos pos posthumously... From that singular beginning, his devices became a fashion item among di dilettants and were scattered about the country. One such device is this projector. Having completed the experimental stage of the camera obscura, a camera that photographs the other world, see above, he created a screen on, upon which to project the spirit special images captured on film. The records say the images were projected that could not be seen when they were photographed. Okay. Oh no. In many regions, particularly in the mountain areas, there remains a folk practice of dressing up dolls they make from straw, earth or cloth, and worshipping them as idols. The doll in the picture was reported by the late Iwat resident. It's called Kushimi, 
and when someone dies in the village, they weave the hair of the deceased into the straw and have it wear his or her kimono. The doll is fixed in skewers and is put before a shrine at the edge of the mountains. The doll is enshrined for up to one month after the death, and after that period passes, it's cast into the river behind. The shrine together with various other offerings. In this tr region's tradition, there is said to be a cave in the mountain, connecting to the land from the, of the gods. The dead who become Kashimi stand between the village and the mountains. They take up the village's evil, village's evil and head up to the land of the gods. In a neighbouring village, there is said to be a similar doll called Igushi, but this one is the spirit of a person who died young and is defied in the mountains. In one interpretation, both village and mountains have a protected de deity standing in the border between people and gods, in another sense, burdening the dead with evil, or defying the spirit of the young in the mountain connotes human sacrifice. Okay, is that enough reading? Inside the manor in a courtyard, surrounded by a corridor, was a tree wrapped with sacred rope. Around it stood straw dolls skewered on stakes. According to an old book on folklore, the practice belongs to an fo old folk cult. The, doors, the doll st stood the border stood at the border between the mountains, divine, and the human, village, functioning as protective deities or amulets. What is there behind the courtyard, behind the door? Uh, loads of reading. A scholar of the occult who lived in the second half of the 19th century. His research, known as mystical science, attempted to use the new Western technology to explain old Japanese folk beliefs and traditions about the other world. After completing his camera obscura, capable of catch capturing images of the other world, he made a projector using the same technology. Using this, he was able to play back the supernatural images recorded on film that could not be seen on conventional equipment. An old camera called the Camera Obscura. It was designed by a man with the same surname as you, Asol, to photograph, spirits, photograph images of spirits and ghosts. But what was the camera doing inside the manor? Just chilling. The old projector from the house I saw in my dream. It was developed by Kaneko Asol, who lived in the second half of the 19th century. It uses technology of the camera obscura to show supernatural images from another plane that can't be played on normal equipment. Indeed. Hey, let's check the thing. See if there are any ghosts hanging around. There's a storage room in the ceiling in the closet. I can get out there if I move away the ceiling board. Okay, let's see if a ghost comes and attacks me. In my own house as well. Spirit stone radio. Is this the radio I dreamed about last night? There's a book here that seems to go with the radio. Radio transmissions. As mentioned previously, occultist Kaneko Asol has actively appropriated Western craft with the goal of exp explici explicating ancient Japanese beliefs in and the legends of the other world. It's said that he finally was able to establish communication with the other world. The first example of this is the other world crystal radio signal receiver, otherwise known as the Spirit Stone Radio. The Spirit Stone Radio's Spirit Stone was named was a name his colleagues used later. In Dr. Assal's research materials, it was simply called referred to as the crystal. The principle of the radi crystal radio is that it utilizes the spirit wave detection property of the crystal to pick up an appropriate band of wavelength. Asu focused on that fact that stones have been known from ancient times to carry occult properties. If he could find a special crystal, he thought that he could perhaps would capture the signals from the other world. It is said that his experiment was a success, and the records note that he was able to capture sound at a range outside of normal broadcasting. The documentation of the sounds have been lost, but Asol's associates have left behind several testimonies saying that they heard words of the past and words of ghosts. I don't want to read anymore. An old radio that was left in the loft above Yu's room. According to the old book left in the same place, it's a crystal radio made by Professor Kaniko herself of communicating with the other world. A reaction with a special crystal makes it possible to hear words spoken in the past and the voices of ghosts. A soul, could there be some connection with Yu's family? Whoops. A scholar of the occult who lived in the second half of the 19th century. His research, known as mystical science, attempted to use modern Western technology to explain old Japanese folk beliefs about the other world. The first of his experiments with to bear fruit was the Spirit Stone Radio. He used the crystal te radio technology and was able to receive supernatural sounds that normally could not be detected. 
The products of his research, the camera obscura, the spirit stone radio and the projector, were much sought after by enthusiasts after his death and were soon scattered all over the country. Interesting. The dream I had yesterday. Okay. Let's go see Miku. Hey Miku. How's it going? Gray? What's the matter? It's raining again. Yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? Lately. All I can think about is the past. Like back when I was a child. Interesting. I'm gonna go to bed now. I wonder whose dream I'm gonna have tonight. Hey, it's me again. Um, yeah. What did I get from the here last time? Oh, right, yeah. I remember where that goes. It's been so long, I just forgot. I might level up my camera right now, actually. No, I don't have enough. How have I only got 6,000? Oh. Image of something has been caught on the photo. Okay. Image of something has been caught on the photo. Okay. What the hell is that noise? I'm leaving. Oh god, there's blood. There is blood. Something round is reflecting behind, reflecting light from inside the pool of blood behind the chest. Oh, I want to look at it later because I've got stuff to do right now. I need to go check rooms. 
that were locked but now are open. So yeah, I'll get I'm gonna get right on that and you know, as soon as something else comes up. Get back. Stay away. Oh god. More blood. The door is shut tight. It feels like someone is pushing against it from the other side. Blood stains on the floor continue under the door. Hey, that rhymes. Fine, I'll go look at the stupid projector thing. Yeah, I've got loads of things to do. I need to go up there now. See what that dude was doing. Or was it a woman? I couldn't really tell. The image of something has been caught in the photo. Okay. Um, I missed half of that, so I'm going to have to watch that again. Okay, um, yeah, so, oh god, no, what? Bitch. What, is there another one? No, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go... And there are some places in the in that film that I recognise, so I'm gonna go and look in those places. One of them was in the room that we can't get into. And the other one was where we first ever started off in this game, with, with the pots. And the cloth hanging from the ceiling. And also, um, I might as well go around here anyway because um, this is where the room where the key goes to is. And there's a person up there. 